Miriam. I am part of the management team here at Grand Arc Designs. I just wanted to say thank you um, for taking the time to check us out and see what we're all about. So this whole project started off as a dream. There's been a lot of hard work from a lot of people on the team and it's slowly starting to come together. Um, there's been a lot of buzz as we've had several key pieces come into place and we're very excited to see what's to come. Memories of Aldaria is actually going to be an action adventure title. We wanted to bring in some fresh elements to the mix, but we also wanted to keep some of the classic elements um, from older games. So you will see a variety of both. As far as the tone of the game itself, it is going to be a darker, more mature and gothic title. So a lot of the challenges and puzzles that you're going to be facing in this game are actually going to be from the dungeons that you're going to be encountering. We really have seen a lot of games out there where you just walk in a dungeon, giant room full of monsters, attack, 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 bash, dead. We really don't want to do that. Sure, killing stuff is fun, but we really want you to have to think about the puzzles in the dungeons so that you have to maybe come up with a strategy. There's something for you to, to think about, not just walking in and killing everything in sight. Hey, I'm Oliver Sardi, composer and sound designer on the Grand Art Design team. I work in my studio outside of London where I create music and sound for film, TV, and games. Memories of Aldera is a project I'm really excited about because it's, uh, it's a huge playground to finally put in place all the musical and sonic ideas that have been going around my head while in the seat of a gamer, but this time in the seat of the studio, where it's, it's really quite a powerful place to be because you're creating that emotional connection with the story, that emotional connection with the game, um, that really creates that sense of immersion and engagement with the player. You're, you're creating the, the soundscapes of fear, of adventure, of, of victory, um, and there's, there's a lot you can do musically and with sound, and it's really exciting to be uh, a part of this team and to be in that position to do that. The specific fantasy genre created by Alex and the nuanced visual design created by Waleed Fegali and team um, really play well to my own musical tastes and skills where I, I really thrive in a fantasy environment. I enjoy creating big, epic, emotional sounds, sounds that, um, that really drive the story forward and, and, and carry the audience through every detail and nuance of the story. Using the WISE platform for sound and music handling means that the experience will be very dynamic and intelligently responsive to exactly what's happening on screen and exactly what's happening in the player's hands. Um, the musical palette itself will be largely orchestral, um, but with enough, of, enough synthetic elements to provide the fantasy overlay that is required in this kind of genre. If we reach our fundraising targets, all the orchestral parts will be recorded live by a European Philharmonic Orchestra um, whose performers have been on major films and TV shows that you will definitely have seen. Uh, for sound design, effects will be live recorded where possible and manipulated in the studio. Uh, where not possible, for example, beheading a demon or uh, a roar of an animal um, or some kind of creature, those parts, I, I have a rich collection of sound libraries that I can draw on and manipulate to create exactly the kind of organic and realistic, uh, scary or exciting kind of sound that's required for that. Um, I really can't wait to share with you all the work in progress we've got going on uh, in the music and sound space. So please support us and help turn this fantasy into reality. Hello, I'm Tyler, Master of Code for Memories of Aldaria. It's my pleasure to handle all the logic and numbers that are going to breathe life into our game. With this game, the technical design is going to be based on a lot of systems that are already pretty well defined. At the heart of it sits Unreal Engine 4, which provides excellent development tools as well as the capability for next-gen graphics. We don't so much want to innovate with this as we want to work with stuff that uh, comes from games that we've played and loved in the past. So my job is to take the, the things that already work with this type of game and really to just refine it and bring it something, something better. 
Our default control system is being designed so that it's something that's sort of easy to understand. We want to take systems that players are already pretty well familiar with, as well as add world cues and then the like to make it something that uh, eliminates as much guesswork as possible. Our default uh, inputs is going to be control pad, like a, you know, an Xbox controller. Uh, as being, being a PC gamer, I also find it important to have a, a good keyboard and mouse scheme as well. The other system that I'm really interested in working in is it's going to be the character AI. For this I want to create something that's, that's a little more realistic, a little more fluid than, than what you generally see. Uh, to me, a game like this really dies when your enemies are nothing, nothing random, very predictable, like uh, like a modern MMO boss where their abilities can be set to to a timer. I'm looking to create something that's not completely random, but that you can approach with some confidence, but that you should expect a surprise or two every once in a while as well. All in all, my overall goal is to create a, a character AI that uh, that's going to be interesting and a control system that you won't really think twice about. Something that will let you. Focus more on the game's content and, and the actual gameplay than thinking about what you have to do next. Our team covers all of its bases with just the a sheer amount of people that we've got working on this. One thing that really has me excited is going to be the voice acting and the music scores that we're going to have here for the game. Um, I'm really excited for our composer, Oliver. He is an amazing composer. He's already done some work for our game that I'm just thrilled about. And one other thing that um, just has me really excited is I'm actually getting to lend my voice for the game. I will be doing some voice acting and Oliver and I have already teamed up and we have put together a lullaby that's gonna be in the original soundtrack. So look forward to that. As far as who's gonna be voicing some of our other characters, well, we've got some newer voices on the team, but some of the other ones you probably have heard in some pretty mainstream stuff. And if you help fund us, you'll get to hear them again with us. So help support us, help make this dream come true. And from everybody here at Grand Arc, thank you. <laughs>